and gentlemen, hello and welcome to another episode of my FM20 save with FC Rapid. We're here at the first game against Sabertalo from Georgia, the third game in the group stage. Let's see what matches you missed. Um, it were two matches. Uh, we lost against CFR Cluj, who were top of the league. We actually took the lead um, at an 11 minute, minute mark, but they scored twice and overturned it and they won. So they're still in first, obviously. Then we beat Astra Georgiou 3-1 away from home. So a good away win. I think that's the first actual away win. Not a second away win in the league. So uh, we had a tough time away from home. But now luckily we finally won a game again. Against Astra Georgiou. Which puts us into fifth place. Um, I would have loved uh, for us to be a little bit higher. But on the other hand, we are only three points behind number two. And we could even uh, be on equal points with number 3 because we have a game in hand. We also have a game in hand on Sea of Arclusia or in number 1. But we are 11 points behind them. So we can only close the gap to 8 points uh, at best. So that's the situation we're in right now. So let's get into the game against Sabertalo from Georgia. Probably, you know, you would say uh, beforehand that they are probably the easiest um, team we have to face. But... They have been very good this season in in the in the Europa League. Uh, they've picked up a very good result. They won their first match. They lost their second, but they still got three points. So we're gonna try to keep them on three three points and give us an extra six over the next two games. So this is gonna be the starting lineup. Um, that's not gonna happen. So Labrovic in goal, Ferrero, Bogdanovic, Pasarica, Kulda. Pinter, Oida, Mimela, Castillo, Lambulic, and Demchenko. Uh, those are the 11 names that are going to start for us, that are going to try to do it for us. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited for the game. I hope we can pick up a good result, even though we're not in very good form. I still think we should be able to beat this team. I don't think that uh, they're on the same level as us. But then again, I didn't think we were on the same level as the teams like Inter and Bayer Leverkusen. And we still picked up some points against them as well. So let's hope that Sabertalo cannot do the same against us as we did in the Champions League last year. And let's hope that we can just pick up the routine win that we expect us to get right now. And pick up the three points as well. So as you can see in the group, we are in first place. Uh, so that's good. But that can, can all change at the end of the game. And Sabertalo do have the ball here on the right hand side. I'm not going to try to pronounce that name. They put in a cross and that's actually the first big chance of the game. Luckily it's over the goal and it is not gone in. Uh, so it's still nil nil after 15 minutes of play. But they do look a very uh, positive and that's worrying for us. Because well the more chances they get uh, the less chances we get. Um, so let's hope that they won't get a lot more. But they are again on the ball here. The same guy that had the ball in the last attack. A good cross again. This time Labrovic with an important save. Otherwise that would have gone into the far corner. Luckily Labrovic uh, just plucked it out of the air. And caught it safely in his hands. Again his goal kick goes straight to the opponent. And they can uh, have, an other, uh, have another shot at our goal. Again, the same guy, I think, as their right winger. Another good cross to the same guy as well. This time, he heads it over and wide. So, let's see. Um, what I am noticing is that their right winger, I think, um, this guy, I recognize his name. I cannot pronounce his name, but I recognize his name. He has put in a lot of crosses, so let's uh, press him higher. And I think this is the guy that uh, has all the free headers. So let's uh, mark him tighter as well. So their crosses don't really work. At least that's what I'm hoping how that turns out. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Um, uh, and that's what our assistant says right after we make the change to mark him tighter. But we already did. Uh, let's hope that that works out the way I want it to. Uh, I'm... I'm not seeing another cross since since we made those changes, and that should be a penalty for us. He's probably going to look at the VAR. No, he doesn't even have to. It's a penalty. Who's going to take it? In the 38th minute, it is Rashvan Oida, who could put us into the lead. Oida, and he scores it, and it's 1-0 away from home against Sabertalo, and that puts us firmly in first place in the group. 
after only 37 and a half minutes uh, we made those changes to press on the right mid and mark tighter the left mid and there's the second goal as well and those changes I was just about to say look to have um, caused a miracle they were on the attack over and over and over again but as soon as we made those changes we get two chances and we score both of them now they get a chance and they get a goal back as well so it's 2-1 so a very exciting end to that first half uh, from the 38th minute to the 45th minute three goals were scored so if that's anything to go by for the second half I can't wait I'm just hoping that we'll be on the on the positive end of it and hoping that we could pick up the three points but a Sabertalo again on the ball right now this time the left mid has the ball tries to go for a cross but it's blocked by Pinter and he can set up a counter attack a lot of teammates with him should play bit Demchenko and he does and the great save by the keeper did not expect him to save that I think they should have gone in probably but it was a very good attack good teamwork as well a wider now takes a corner kick the results from it but it's headed away and loose ball is picked up by Bogdanovic but that's the end of the highlight so as soon as we made those changes we have been playing better but still uh, every now and then Sabertalo get another chance chance with it, which I don't really like because it, we're only up by one goal we do get another corner kick here probably taken by Owaita, by Castillo this time is not headed away and Danchenko rifles it into the net they probably should have uh, defended that better but I don't care the ball ended up at Demchenko's feet and he just volleyed it straight into the corner you love to see it Pinter again on the ball on the right side this time tries to put in a cross but nobody there to answer it we do still have the ball though cooled out with the ball to Memela to Castillo and Demchenko with the hat trick right that's his hat trick I think it is it's a perfect hat trick as well and that's and it's 4-1 for us so we got this game done and I'm very happy with it I'm very happy with the performance since we made those changes in the first half and I'm very happy with the three points as well I forgot to make subs again but we have the three points uh, so it doesn't really matter a lot uh, as long as we don't suffer any injuries we might even get another one Pinter here plays Demchenko in again one-on-one -on -one with the keeper Demchenko but a good save by the goalkeeper and we get another corner kick let's see a wide out with a corner but it's headed away uh, ball is picked up by, by Pasarica and put in again but again worked away by Sabertalo and they might even try to counter here but they lose the ball and the ball is for us luckily so it was a very good performance in the end looking back at it I'm happy with it I'm happy with the three points as I said we're firmly in first place three points above Celtic in second and now we take Sabertalo to our own home ground and try to do the same thing again so we'll be even even better position uh, by that time so uh, let's say that we're happy with them and I'll see you guys in just a second for the second leg and we're here for the fourth game of the group stage the home leg against Sabertalo let's check out what we did in the meantime uh, we beat Craiova away from home so another away win in the league and a 5-2 win against Arod you can see it already we're up to third uh, a game in hand on the number one as well so we can close the gap to four points on the number one so uh, the last two games have been very very good and very very important for us uh, so yeah very happy with that but now let's focus on the Europa League against Sabertalo this is the starting 11 of course, Labrovic in goal, Ferreira, Bogdanovic, Kolbas and Kulda, Pinter, Owaida, Lika, Castillo, Lambudic and Demchenko. So uh, Kulda and Malasia and Pisk, all three of them got injured before the last game. Luckily, all injuries were short term, very short term. So uh, luckily we have a left back um, to play today against Sabertalo. Let's see what we can do against them at home. Uh, of course away from home we beat them what was it 3-1 or 4-1 even I don't even remember it was just a second ago well for you guys it was just a second ago for me it was like I think half an hour ago uh, but yeah um, let's see what we can do today and as you saw in the pep talk we could potentially secure a knockout round place already today if we win this and other results now I think we only have to win this 
Yeah, we do. We only have to win this game, and then uh, that means we're through already. So, uh, very, very happy with that, if that happens, of course. But that does mean we have to win. Uh, as you can see, um, how it stands right now, uh, it does mean that we still uh, could finish third. But, of course, well, if we win, we could still finish third, because Celtic could still overtake, I don't know. Um, it's weird, I don't know uh, what results we would need to uh, secure qualification uh, at this point in time. I think no matter what happens, we still need one more game, but maybe that's just my mathematics not adding up. Um, but let's focus on the game in hand right now, uh, because that's the most important thing, of course. The other things we cannot influence, we can influence this game, and we get a throw in right here. Ferrero throws to Awaida, tries to put in a good cross, but the cross wasn't as good as he was hoping. And the keeper from Sabertalo can just catch it easily. Bogdanovic heads down his goal kick though, and we get the ball again. So Pinter with the ball on the right side of the field, dribbles forward, and then a shot that is so far wide, was nowhere near the goal. Don't know why he tried it from that distance as well. Could have probably just dribbled a few meters further and maybe uh, squared it to one of his teammates, but he chose to go this way. Didn't really work out. Castillo this time on the ball on the left side could put in a pass to the middle. He tries to go for it himself as well. And again, um, <laughs> uh, weirdly enough, it didn't work out. I mean, we could have expected that, right? The, the angle he was in, and there was a defender and a goalkeeper right in front of him. But this time Richard Pinter heads in across by Rosvan Owaida and we take the lead once again after just a little over half an hour. Uh, so very happy with that. Gives us a good chance. Last season, oh, that sucks. Lika is injured so let's put Memeida in there. Uh, not that Memeida is worse so don't think we actually lose quality there. Uh, so that's good. But last season, um, the entirety of the league season, uh, at least of the league, um, anytime we scored first, uh, like we do here today, uh, we did not lose a single game. So I think we drew four games in which we scored first and we won every other one. So that's if that's something to go by, then that's promising for this match that would give us a good chance of actually winning it as well. But... As I say so often, we'll just have to wait and see because you never know what's going to happen in, in this game. Uh, Owaida now with the ball to Bogdanovic. Could play um, this guy in here with Pinter probably or Ferrero. It's Castillo actually, alright. Castillo with a lot of space here on the right side, but we choose to play around in the back. But they switch the play to Pinter on the right side. Demchenko tries to go for it and what a mistake by the goalkeeper. 2-0 again Leonid Demchenko scored a hat-trick in the other game. And scored in the games in between as well. He is on fire right now. And we're happy that he is. Because he probably gave us gives us another 3 points here on the night. And as you can see that puts us on 10 points. And, and a very good chance to move on to the next round. As I said. Um, don't know if this secures qualification for us. Probably why they say that is because Celtic. Um, still have to play Sabertalo and Besiktas has to have have to play Sabertalo as well. Um, so one way or another, probably it means that Besiktas and Celtic can't both pick up enough points to overtake us, but I think they can. Um, but I'm not sure. Um, we'll see after the match. Again, not important for now. We'll just take it when that comes. Right now, Ferrero is on the ball on the right side, puts in a an okay cross, but it's headed away by their defense. Mimela with a shot from distance, but it's just wide of the post. And it's still 2-0. We are completely dominating the match uh, when it comes to shots, at least. Possession, not so much, but we're still uh, edging the match when it comes to possession as well. Let's make our final two subs here and see this game out for the last 20 minutes. Just hope we don't concede two goals right now. That would actually... Uh, be pretty horrific then we would be in a much less um, secure spot of making it to the next round but Pinter here with another good chance and another good save by the goalkeeper as well 74th minute only 15 minutes left and injury time of course so adding up probably around 20 minutes and a, a very quick 
goal kick by their keeper right here. Julio Finicius uh, picks up the ball, but Avram with a very good tackle and very important as well. And that's the end of the highlight. Luckily, they would have probably been in a good spot to go for the goal, but luckily, as I said, the highlight ended. Ferrero now with the ball to Demchenko, but it's headed away. And another counter opportunity for Sabertalo. I'm not going to try to pronounce his name. It was the left mid. I remember that much. And he goes for a goal. But Labrovic with a seemingly simple but important save. And now only 10 minutes to go. They look overwhelmed by the feedback. Our players are focused after the feedback. So they should be good for the last fi 5 minutes. Only injury time left now. And we even get a free kick. A wide to take it just outside of the box. Demchenko I think that was offside. Is not and Temchenko with another goal, his 10th goal of the season already. That's an insane start to his career at the club. Of course, he got loaned out last season, but this season he has been so important for us. And I'm very happy that we could register him, thanks to Montenegro not being a non-EU country anymore. So, very happy with the performance of the boys there. Uh, let's see. Uh, Cluj are not doing too badly either. Let's see where they are. They're in second, actually. So, that's very good as well. Um, let's check out the schedule. Of course, the next games are going to be the ones against Besiktas and the home game against Celtic. Let's see what it says here. So yeah, we're not qualified just yet. I think we can, uh, yeah, we can finish one uh, first, second, or third. But after next game, we'll probably know whether we're qualified or not. I think we only have to pick up one point from the next two games, and we're sure of qualification. So that's very good. Uh, this has been this episode for now. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe as well if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.